Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and I'm on the customer experience team for QuickBooks Online Payroll. With the transition from Intuit Online Payroll into QuickBooks Online Payroll Complete, your year-end tasks may look a little bit different. So I wanna take a few minutes to make sure you're familiar with our common year-end workflows. So let's start with the W-2 process. To get started, you wanna select Taxes and then Payroll Tax. The screen will populate with the forms that are either currently due or upcoming, so you may need to scroll down a little bit to see the W-2 copies A and D. If you would like, you can choose to preview those forms here, or you can click into File where you can view and submit the forms. You can also update your Box 13 selections here, which does translate to the W-2 as well. Once you're ready, click Submit and that will send your W-2 copies A and D to the Social Security Administration. And once they have either accepted or rejected your W-2s, you will receive an email confirmation from us letting you know. If you are using our auto pay and file service, we will also mail paper, paper copies of your W-2s to your employees. If you do not use our pay and file service, you will need to either provide them a paper copy or encourage them to sign up for Workforce to receive a paperless copy. So let's move into 1099s. To get into the 1099 flow, you click Taxes and then 1099 Filings. One thing to know before we get started is that if you did file your 1099s in Intuit Online Payroll last year or before, you will no longer be able to access that account. If you need any of that older data, our experts will be glad to help you. Going forward, your 1099s will be available in the 1099 section of payroll taxes. So now that we're in the 1099 filing screen, click continue your 1099s or get started if that's what you see. Here is where the flow starts to look much the same as you are used to in Intuit Online Payroll. So you verify your company information, make sure everything is correct there. Verify your account mapping which really should only be the two contractor payment or contract reimbursement accounts. If you do have to file multiple 1099 forms, you will not be able to use the same mapping for multiple forms. So if you do need to file a 1099 NEC, as well as a direct sales 1099 or royalties, any of the other selections here, you may need to have a different account set up or refer to the help article linked to this and that will give you some options. Once your 1099s have been submitted, you will get an email from us that lets you know the status. So you'll receive an email when you file and an email when they have been accepted by the IRS. You can also come back into the 1099 window to either file more 1099s or check the status of your 1099s at any time. I hope this helps make your year a little bit easier for the year-end tasks. Linked in the post are some helpful articles on these subjects for more information, or you can always check out the Compliance tab within Payroll for more information and some helpful articles. Thank you.